Zanu PF Senator for Manicaland Province and the party's provincial vice chairperson, Dorothy Mabica on Saturday became a victim of politically motivated violence after her car was ambushed in Chimanamani West by suspected party members. The ruling party is set to hold its internal elections before the end of this month, and political temperatures have been rising in the former liberation movement. Mabika was elected senator this year to replace the late Ellen Ward Zimba who died this early this year. The attack was revealed by Zanu PF Manical and Provincial Chairperson Mike Madero, who is also the Deputy Home Affairs Minister on Sunday during a Provincial Coordinating Committee PCC, meeting at Marymount Teachers College in Muter. Madero, who was also attacked by suspected ZANU PF members a few weeks ago, said Mabika survived an attack as she drove past Chikowa area in Chimanamani West constituency. He said, I think you are all aware that I was attacked last month and yesterday, Saturday, our vice chairperson Mabika was attacked as well at Chikowa. Her car was ambushed at a certain turn off near Chikowa. I don't think someone deserves to lose life due to internal party elections. I had to announce this, whilst you are here boss, Engelbert Trujic, because when I was attacked, I thought our members had learned a lesson, but it is a fuss that our vice chairperson was attacked again. Trujic is a ZANU PF Politburo member and the former political commissar. Madero warned those fomenting violence in the province that the long arm of the law will soon catch up with them.